Hello Sim Pilots, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's video on the Fly by Wire A32NX. A long time ago I posted a tutorial video on how to fly the A32NX from cold and dark and it's been my most popular video on the channel with well over 170,000 views so far but I feel like that video is a little bit outdated now considering all the features that have since been added to this amazing freeway aircraft so I thought it's time for an updated version of that video. Now while flying the aircraft is basically still the same it's just really the setup and the integration that has changed around a bit. I'm not going to do a whole tutorial flight, you can use that uh, tutorial playlist to still fly the aircraft, maybe just replacing the first episode, setting it up with uh, this episode over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the installation, we're going to add some liveries, we're going to set up the flight plan, connect our sim brief account to the A32NX. We'll basically cover everything required to get ready to take to the skies for the first time if this aircraft is new to you. So let's jump right in. Alright, first things first, we're going to head on over to flywiresim.com and we're going to download the installer for the A32NX. Now you can manually just stick this aircraft in your community folder, but I'd highly recommend using the installer. It's an easy way to keep the aircraft up to date. You can switch between the development version and the stable version. You can also use it for FSLTL liveries and traffic injection if you want to. So let's click on installer and then download that. So custom built installer, click download and uh, it will download the installer all right so with that done obviously i'm not going to install it again because i already have it done but you can just double click the installer setup run the application and install the flyby installer and once you have done that it's going to look like this so with the installer installed and running this is what you're going to pre be presented with now on the left hand side the first thing we want to do is go here to the settings automatically start application on login we're going to have that ticked on Right, download, we've got to make sure that we point the installer to the correct community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I've got mine on a custom path, which is, I've just got a folder MSFS on my C drive, and I've got a community folder there. That's also where I've got my install directory. Now, if you have the original path or the original install directory for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the path is going to look something like this, which is on screen now, for either the Windows Store version or the Steam version. So follow one of those two parts if you haven't changed your install directory and you will find your community folder over there. The other two you can leave off the separate location for temporary folders and disable version warnings and then uh, use CDN cache for faster downloads you can put on. On the left hand side here the three tabs just takes you between flyby simulations aircraft, salty simulations uh, 7478 and uh, the FSLTL traffic injector for liveries and um, traffic for VATSIM if you use that as well you can uh, install that and set that up over here down at the bottom you just have links to their website discord and the user guide but what we want here it's the a32nx now if you click on it we have two versions we have the stable version and we have the development version the development version will always have the latest features that will end up in the next stable version bugs are to be expected it updates whenever something is added to the master branch on github and then obviously the stable version is the stable variant with the least bugs and best performance. This version will not always be up to date, but guarantees compatibility with each major patch from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now me personally, I always fly the development version. I don't really experience much bugs flying the Flyby A32NX. And obviously I like to have the latest um, features at when it gets added to the aircraft. So over here in the bottom right hand corner, you click on install. If it's installed already, you can switch between the two. If you click on the stable version, it'll say switch version over here. You can switch between the two that are currently installed in the community folder. If you want to uninstall it, you can uninstall it as well. Make sure before you go flying, you open up the installer. If there's an update for any of the aircraft, it'll appear over here and you can update the aircraft from there. Mine is obviously already installed. If you haven't got yours yet, click the one you want to install. Go ahead and install that. And then once that's done, we can move on. Alrighty, so with your aircraft installed, now it's time to get some liveries because let's be honest, we want to fly with some real world liveries on our favorite routes. So we're going to head on over to a website called flightsim.to and this is where we can grab all our liveries for the Flyby A32NX. So we're going to hit the search bar here. We're going to go A32NX, oops, NX liveries. And uh, let's search for some liveries. Now I like to go by most downloaded we can see what's popular let's have a look what we can choose from now i've already got a whole bunch of liveries installed 
obviously because I fly the A32X quite a lot. So I'm just going to pick a random livery for this example to show you guys how to install the liveries. So let's look for something that's random that I know I probably won't have. And we will just download that quickly. Uh, I don't think I have a Condor livery. So we'll go with this one. Looks quite nice. 8K resolution. So pick the liveries you want to download. Click on download now. Obviously, I think you'll need to create an account on this website. Just stick in your email address and uh, choose a password. And then you can download your stuff. All right, download started. So once that's done, we're going to find it in our downloads folder. And we're going to copy and paste that into our community folder. But we must make sure of one step first. All right, so here we have our livery downloaded. Let's just extract that. And then we will copy and paste it into our community folder. Very important, if you double click on the folder, you'll see there's another folder. And inside that is all the subfolders and files. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't copy the main folder. Otherwise, you're not going to see your liveries. Anybody struggling to see liveries when they download liveries for the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is normally the reason why. Make sure that you go into the first folder and then copy and paste this main one into your community folder. So we're going to copy that. We're going to head to our community folder. For me, it's C Drive, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Community. And we're just going to right click and paste it into this community folder. That's all we need to do. And now we can jump into the sim and we load up the Flyby A3 TNX. Alrighty, while the sim is loading up, let's go ahead and have a look at our sim brief. Now, sim brief is the website we use to do all our flight planning. We also need to connect our sim brief account to the A32NX in the flight pad, which we will get to a little bit later on. So, first things first, you want to go to dispatch. And let's plan a flight quickly that we can use for the purposes of this tutorial, just as an example. So, we're going to go new flight. We will depart or we will be airline uh, i don't know we'll choose uh, easy jet uh, one two three obviously we're not going to fly today we're just going to use this as an example on the flight pad echo golf kilo kilo from gatwick we'll fly to i don't know let's go to we'll go to munich our aircraft type because we're in a320 neo it's the a20 november a variant or airframe we're going to choose the fly-by-wire all versions. Now this is already default inside SimBrief, so you don't need to add anything here. So fly-by-wire A3 TurnX all versions is the one we want to select. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just leave everything the same as is, and we'll just generate flights, so we have that flights available. So with our flight plan now generated, easy one, two, three, departure, Gatwick to Munich, we can use this for our tutorial when we go through setting up the aircraft. Account settings, very important. We need our pilot's ID. Now this is what we're going to stick into the flight pad. And that's going to connect the A32NX to our SimBrief account. And we'll be able to pull up the flight plans that we generate here on the SimBrief website inside of the A32NX. Okay, so now that we have the sim loaded up, we can click on world map. Let's select our aircraft. So we're going to go to airliners. All the way down here at the bottom is the Flyby Simulations A320 Neo. Liveries. Let's find our livery that we just installed. There it is over there. Condor. Obviously, you can see I've got a whole lot of Flyby liveries. This is the one that we've just installed. See, it's available. That means it's installed correctly. All right, let's select our departure. We're not going to fly tonight. We're just going to park on stand. We said we're going to go to... And we'll just choose the stand just to park on for now. And just uh, So I'm just going to choose one of these over here. And then we can click on fly. Okay, and there we have it. Our uh, A3CNX on the ground at uh, Gatwick in our Condor livery that we've just uh, downloaded. Let's jump into the flight deck and set up the fly pad. So first things first, let's just give the aircraft a little bit of power by turning on battery 1 and 2 and uh, connecting the external power. To turn on the fly pad, we just click on the screen. And yeah, as you can see, it's already got my flight plan from SimBrief because obviously my account is already connected. But the first things I want to do is you won't have this over here. So what you need to do is you need to go to settings, third party options. And here it says SimBrief user ID. Just paste that number in there that you copied. 
You can also link your Navigraph accounts if you use Navigraph charts. Highly recommended to have a Navigraph account. Obviously, you don't have to, but um, it is a great thing to have. So on the overview page, we have our departure and our arrival, our alternate, our company route name, zero fuel weight, cost index, winds, cruising altitude, and here we have our route. Here we have our weather for our departure and our arrival. Here you have a shortcut for pin charts if you have any failures and a shortcut to your checklists. Now I will quickly go over all the settings pages. We don't have to go through each and every one of them individually. Some of them is really just user preference. You want to go through each of these individually and just set it up to your preference. Maybe you use pounds instead of kgs. You want to change the call outs, the automatic call outs on descent. You want to add some more if you want to. Some options, whether you use inches of mercury or hectopascals, depending on if you fly in the US or Europe. All of these settings, you can just go through one by one and select them the way you want to. Very important to make sure that you do your throttle detents, calibrate your throttle. Now I use the Thrustmaster T1600M. So I have a single axis, an independent axis. I have only one. If you have a dual, then you can select two and you can calibrate both. For me, it's just one. I don't have a reverser on this throttle, so I've got that left off and I use a button and the throttle for my reverser. So basically I hold in a, a button that's mapped on my throttle and I push it forward for reverse when I land. So what you want to do over here, you want to select your different detents, move the throttle and calibrate them. So for example, you want to click on idle, you want to move your throttle all the way to the idle position and then you're going to say set from throttle and it's going to set it over there. Climb, you want to move your throttle to where the climb detent is. Now my dead band, I've increased it to that whole range over there. It makes it easier for you to find that climb detent. Especially when you're busy climbing out after takeoff and you move the throttles back to climb. It's not so hard to find that detent because it's quite wide. If you have it very small, sometimes it's hard to get the throttle in that climb detent. So same thing, you want to select it where your climb detent is and then set from throttle. Flex, you want to move it up to the flex detent. Again, set from throttle and then toga. You want to push it all the way forward and then uh, set from throttle. Make sure you save and apply and that way your throttle is now calibrated. Right, as I said, everything else you can just go through one by one. Realism settings, you can change between instant, fast and real. That's just how long it takes for the ADOS to align, the DMC self-test time and the boarding time. You can have it instant, real or fast. Auto full checklist, unrealistic, everything else I just leave off, but obviously it is up to you how you want that done. Everything else, you got your ATIS source, I use VATSIM. If you fly offline, you can just use FAA if you don't, or Microsoft Flight Simulator for your meta and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these, you guys can play around with that and uh, set it how you want it. Basically to get flying, you just need to choose what you want to do. All of these tabs on the left, we can go through each of them, every one of them. So obviously you have your overview, which shows you what I just went through now, your flight plan. The next page, you have your operational flight plan. Here you have your ground services page. So if you don't use GSX, you can use, control the doors and the jet bridge and stuff from this page over here. Here you can load your fuel and your payload. Also from Simbrief. So you can go ahead and download the fuel and then you can click on play and it'll start loading the fuel. Same thing with payload. Download the payload and then it'll start uh, loading the passengers into your aircraft one by one. As you can see there, as they sit down, you can see the chairs, they start getting highlighted and there the aircraft starts getting loaded. Next page, you have your performance calculator for top of descent and landing. If you want to calculate your top of descent, Navigation and charts, you can display your Navigraph charts over here once you've linked your Navigraph account under third party options. Air traffic control, it'll show you that some controllers that are online and their frequencies. Failures, if you want to play around with failures for the A32NX, personally I've never used this, I don't know how well they work. Checklists, here's your checklist page, you can go through the checklists one by one. And then your presets, if you want to save and load different custom presets for your aircraft over here. You can do that, for example, if you don't want cold and dark or you want maybe cold and dark with just the battery and the dome light on, then you can have that selected and you can save it as a preset and you can load that up when you load in at night, for example. 
All right, with that all done, you are pretty much ready to set up your first flight in the A32NX. If you've never flown this aircraft before and you don't know how to set up the MCDU, then have a look at this video linked in the top right hand corner that I've recently done on how to set up the MCDU to go flying in this aircraft. I hope this quick video gets you guys into the sky in the A32NX. Once you are used to flying this aircraft and you're comfortable and feel proficient, then come and join us on VATSIM where we got some uh, air traffic controllers to just uh, give you that next step in realism. As always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.